given so much of my years to dance and in return it has also brought me great joy and happiness. In January this year, Singapore Dance Theatre, the country's pioneering dance company, dedicated a studio to their founder, Go Soo Kim. An instrumental figure, Soo Kim has dedicated her life to the world of dancing. I think I love to dance, even as I was a child. And I was told that I'm always dancing, you know, all over around the house. And uh, I guess that's how my interest in dance started. She come from a family of uh, four dancers, inspired by the elder brother and sister. So she liked dance all the time. When I started to teach her, she had that beautiful feeling and joy for dance, which I can see even at a very young age. With her robust passion and irrefutable talent, Su Kim was the first Asian dancer to be accepted into the prestigious Australian Ballet School. When she returned to Singapore, Su Kim embarked on a new direction as the director and principal of the Singapore Ballet Academy, nurturing and guiding young aspiring talents. I find myself, in a way, is facing a new challenge in taking up the responsibility of taking care of the Singapore Ballet Academy. I enjoy really the process of helping them and seeing their development really give me a lot of satisfaction. But teaching was not enough for Su Kim and she needed to do more. In the late 60s, sadly, there just aren't anything available for them to have a professional career in Singapore. The most is you can do some television program. With a fellow dancer, Anthony Then, they set up the Singapore Dance Theatre in 1988 as a platform for professional ballet dancers. But it was not a bed of roses. Setting up the company is only the beginning. There is always a lot of challenge ahead of us, not only artistically, but most importantly, you need the support financially. With her resilience and dedication, Su Kim overcame the challenges and today, Singapore Dance Theatre has become one of Asia's leading professional dance companies. Singapore now has got a better knowing of um, dance and ballet. It's all done by Miss Go actually. She wants SDT to be known in Singapore and she wants it to be known even overseas. So she really pushed it up to the level. Su Kim always had the foresight and the eye to spot new talent to infuse into the company. When I was 17, I was actually preparing for my graduation um, exam. Afterwards, um, they approached me, say that um, Madam Go Su Kim is willing to offer me a contract. So I told myself, I say, if someone that um, believe I can do it, Maybe I should give myself a chance. She gave me an opportunity to change my life. Mum has always been um, an inspiration to all um, her dancers. Her enthusiasm for dance has uh, passed on to many of her students and her dancers. We tell somebody that you are Go Su Kim's daughter, everyone is, wow, you know, you have a very famous mother. Su Kim's contributions were well recognized she was awarded the Cultural Medallion Award in 1981 for her artistic excellence and the National Day Public Service Medal in 1989 for her contributions to dance in Singapore. Even with her retirement, Su Kim's legacy continues to live on and inspire the next generation. If you feel that dancing has become so much a part of you, I feel that one should just follow one's heart and really go for it strive hard and never give it up easily because we don't want to live life regretting it later.